Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today we're going to check out the Animodule Line Amp and this time I'm going to use it in a way that's a little bit different than how it's laid out um, you know, on their site. So the Animodule Line Amp will boost any input three times, okay? And that's useful for taking a line level signal and boosting it up to modular level. But there's another nice little trick and feature about this module. The Line Amp, I'll throw up right now, has it's got two inputs on it, four outputs, and then there's two switches. So with the switches out, it acts as a standard buffered multiple. It's got you know one input and two buffered outputs. So that way you can send that buffered output into something like a, uh, a passive mult and it'll power quite a few uh, you know, volt per octave synths, things of that nature. Or you press the switch in and it's going to amplify that signal by three times. Now a nice little feature about that is, is because there's two inputs on it, you can actually send one input into the, uh, into the other input. So we're going to send the Rhodes in this case, the Rhodes which is instrument level, you know, just like an electric guitar. We're going to send that into the input at the top of the line amp and then out of that top group of line amp uh, outputs back into the input below it. What that's going to do is that's going to boost the signal by six times. And that's going to essentially let me use my roads without any other amplification with my modular. So let's just take a, a listen. I'm going to take it out. So I'm going to take it out. And right now I have it as just a standard buffered multiple. So you can get an idea of how loud it is. Very quiet, right? So now let's go ahead and turn the amplification on. I'm sending the line amp output directly into a Synthrotech MST stereo output module and I still have plenty of room to add additional gain. And of course, if I wanted, I could, you know, because the line amp is so small, you could actually put multiple line amps in your system and daisy chain them for even more amplification. Um, and let me just show you how that sounds for a second here. We'll go one more. So now I've got the Rhodes input outputting to the bottom row of the line amp, outputting from there into the top row of another line amp. And you can see at that point it's so loud that it was actually clipping on my audio interface. I would have to start backing things off. So let's go back to using just one line amp. Okay, so let's take a listen to how that works with other modules. I'm going to now plug the uh, line amp output into a clouds module. So here we are blended fully dry. I'm going to start to mix in some of the effect of the clouds and you'll get an idea of how that sounds.
So as you can see, it works very well with that module. Now, the, the clouds from Mutable Instruments, it, it's known for having an awful lot of gain on it as well. But you'll notice that on the gain here, I only have it, you know, maybe about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, somewhere around there. So it's I'm not even close to full gain on that module. Uh, let's take a listen to how it sounds when we use the uh, Suit and Tie Guy module, the uh, dot... SHN. Now this is going to give us that sample and hold sound which is really useful if we want to get that sample rate reduction sound which is really fun on the roads. Now what I'm doing here is I have the roads going into the line amp. From the line amp I'm going into the suit and tie guy dot SHN and from there I'm also having the uh, suit and tie guy Mankato filter which is going to be uh, sending a, a self resonating wave into the trigger input, which is going to let us get that uh, crazy, you know, sample rate reduction sound. And of course, still into the clouds. So as you can see, the Anna module line amp works great for that. I could also send this uh, from the suit and tie guy .shn directly into my MST stereo output. Or if you really want to have some fun, send it from the line amp into the Anna module uh, Trana module and you can use the stereo output or the excuse me the speaker output on that as a distortion and you get some great uh, overdrive sounds. Let's check check that one out. So now the uh, I'll, I'll put the SHN all the way up with the Mankato that way we're not really getting any of that sample rate reduction right now but we're gonna go to line in on the Trana module, and then from there we're going to go out to the uh, the MST module. Let's back that off a bit.
drive with that. And of course, depending on how much of the uh, speaker output you turn up will dictate just how rough and raw that gets. So you can get that, that kind of fat overdriven sound and decide exactly how thick you want it to be. Pretty cool. So anyway, this is Flux with FluxWithIt.com, and I'm checking out that uh, Anamodule line amp. So definitely check that one out. Peace.